So the story behind the sandwich out the window. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Dream Fitness here at Metroflex Gym, Conroe, Conroe, Texas. We're having a good time on the bench today. I usually come down here to train with one of my Stax athletes, uh, Sarah, with an H, and my daughter, Carly, and her boyfriend, Brent. Brent did not make it. He was actually uh, on the job this weekend. But this was, uh, I'm telling you what, man, every time I come down here, we set PRs. And when I say we set PRs, we definitely change the face of what our numbers were looking like just weeks before. We get all fired up. Uh, we're actually using a slingshot for some of these bench presses today just to get into a progressive overload, of course, uh, a much more aggressive overload. And this is actually the first time that, not Carly's used it a couple times, but Sarah is uh, her first time on it, and she loved it. I think she's probably already picked her up one uh, to help with. Obviously, lockouts. Now, if you guys haven't looked into the slingshots, I really recommend it. Uh, it's just like having a board. A lot of people get mixed up on what the slingshot's for. Yes, you can have heavier weight. It gives you anywhere from 5, 10, 15, even 20 pounds more uh, availability to press. It's not like a bench shirt. It's a little bit different than a bench shirt because of the way it fits. And I like this a lot more than a bench shirt. I wore a bench shirt years and years ago. But this is almost like, if I can explain it properly, when you put boards on your chest, uh, you're working on lockouts, right? You're not going all the way down. But when you use this, you still have to do the lockout, but you actually get to go all the way down to your chest. And of course, there's a tension on the uh, the weight as far as helping you. It's like reverse bands, okay? I'm, I'm, char I'm stuttering, I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to give you guys the best information possible on what this uh, slingshot will do for you when you wear it. It goes around the elbows there, a little bit farther up. Uh, once you get about parallel or even farther, it takes a lot of that weight off. But once again, you're feeling that extra weight uh, with the forearms, you know, and the wrist. Uh, obviously, the triceps are doing a whole lot of work, but it's a really a great tool. Now, I didn't start using a slingshot until three or four years ago, and I think that it, it really changed my mind recording, uh, you know, getting back into heavier lifting, uh, higher repetitions, because, you know, you'll see me do... 85 reps with two wheels. You'll see me do 50 reps with three wheels. Today I did 25 reps with uh, four wheels. I'm not sure we're on the band bell, so the bar's just a little bit lighter. Uh, I've really started using this on all of my lifts. It, there's a, a gull wing fulcrum effect instead of like a piston drive. And it's really good for the joints and the tendons, uh, as well as the accessory muscles. There's a lot of kinetics going on. You're getting a whole lot more muscles trained by trying to balance it from the way it wobbles back and forth and the going effect, especially uh, when you're squatting or overhead pressing. There's a little bit difference here. Uh, if you see, you know, I'm just, the weight is moving, the bar is bending, uh, but it's keeping that tension uh, on the muscles and away from pulverizing the joints and tendons. I'm telling you, man, I've been benching for 37 years, squatting, deadlifting, any kind of lifting you talk about. I've been doing this almost 38 years now, and my elbows and, and knees and ankles and hips and even vertebrae is less abused now because I'm using this bar because mainly, you, again, you're taking that piston, that slamming movement out of it, working on a fulcrum rounding movement when you're going up and down, and it's definitely something that I highly recommend to even you new lifters, you know, just now starting out into powerlifting. Powerlifters are like, oh, it's not the same weight, so it's not going to help me. It, believe me, brothers and sisters, it's definitely going to help you because the way that this bar moves and works on secondary muscles, once you go back to the hard bar, you are definitely going to feel the difference because you're going to be stronger in your accessory muscles, which is the main reason that you're trying to train, right? So when you do these tricep exercises and lat exercises and quad exercises to help your bench, now you're working on the tiny accessory muscles uh, that tie into the primaries. And I'm telling you, again, I just cannot express how important it is to work those accessories. I was closed-minded to it up until about two years ago, and now I just won't get off of the bar. I'm telling you right now, fantastic exercise. We had a great lift. We set PRs. We moved on to some accessory exercises. Always fantastic at Metroflex Gym, Conroe, Texas. Thank you all so much for in, in, in watching this video. And Conroe, if you're looking for a no-nonsense, no BS, really intense hardcore training facility, come on by. Until next time, 10 City Rules Train Hardcore, and we'll see you so next week. Story behind the sandwich out the window. <laughs> what? <laughs> sandwich stinks. Get rid of it.
<laughs> that is disgusting. Shut up, Surrey. You're ruining our lives. Out the window. Now we have to get out of the car. What are we going to do with the sandwich? Uh, throw it at someone. <laughs> throw it at someone? That's not very nice. <laughs> so we've got three full water bottles, three empty monster cans, an empty box of donuts, and we're powerlifting. What do you have to say for yourself? Ha, ha, ha.